and as if they were one on top of the other. And I was looking at it from where he placed me, and this was kind of um, top down. So I was looking at that, and I was being able to see all the different levels and the dimensions. One of the things that happened was that then I was taken into, I believe, I think it was the sixth heaven. And I remember um, talking to Jesus and we were having a conversation about all kinds of different things. And I had asked and I started to ask him all different questions that I had always wanted to know the answer to. And um, he um, began to tell me different things and I had so many questions and I was so excited and I was looking at him and I was just amazed by the beauty and the brilliance and the holiness of Christ I uh, remember that at one point when I was looking at him he stood kind of afar off and I was talking to him and I felt this overwhelming sense of my own inadequacy because when I saw how beautiful and how holy and how perfect in character he was, I felt something inside of myself, not kind of like a negative inadequacy, but it was something where I felt inspired by him to be like him in character. I, I saw how he was and I wanted to um, have his character um, in, in what I did and what I thought and how I was and just how loving he was. And so um, it was just a beauty. The other thing about Christ that um, was amazing to me was the fact that all of heaven's light seemed to come directly from him. There was uh, a light that you could look at. It didn't hurt your eyes, but what I will say is this, that when you looked at the, the light, it seemed everything seemed to be focused on him. It was emanating from him. And there was just a, a happiness about his demeanor, a calmness, a strength, uh, and just a beauty that you know, uh, I really can't describe as, as, as much as it was, but I can tell you that it was just an amazing um, thing. And it just, the love that emanated from him was just awesome. I talked to him about several different things. One of the topics that I brought up was um, the the concept of different religions, and I specifically asked him what um, about all of the conflicts on earth relating to religion, and I asked him about the um, different denominations and the different religions, and I asked him, well, which um, um, denomination or rich religion um, was the correct one, quote unquote. And I remember we sat down and I remember him, um, we, were, we were sitting down and he looked at me with a sincerity. Now what I can tell you is this, that what he shared with me was kind of, it was kind of surprising, I must say. And I am, um, you know, I battled with um, what, he sh what, what he shared with me for a little while. Um, but let me just say this, that in heaven, um, when Jesus talks or when the Holy Spirit talks or God the Father talks to you, um, you're not just given the words, but you're also giving the meaning in your mind. It's a, it's a totally different experience than any uh, level of communication I had ever 
experienced before, but it was a deeper level of communication. As we were sitting and talking, he turned to me and I could see there was a sense of um, irritation or I would say um, annoyance with um, the constant battles that people have um, um, in the name of God, killing people um, for religious reasons um, and people claiming to be um, serving God, but yet killing people in the name of God. And, and this was uh, 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 this, this made him angry. And then when I specifically was, was asking him about the, the religions, um, and as far as the denominations, he said something that kind of shocked me. And he said he did not care about what people call themselves. Um, the understanding that I got from that was that he was concerned with the amount of the Holy Spirit that they allowed to influence them. Um, I was shown a lot of different things as far as how he will judge people who did not have the gospel message shared with them. Um, and also you um, can understand some of that from Romans 2 when you read um, how um, God judges people based on the light that was shared to them, the knowledge that was shared with them, and also he judges them based on their conscience and um, the things that they um, saw in nature and saw in life that they will be evaluated on. Um, people who have had the gospel message shared with them and and we will be re and reject that message will be judged based on that standard as well, um, because the Holy Spirit is going out in all the world, and He is actually um, trying to bring all people to God, um, and it's important that we yield to the spirit when the spirit is calling us. We talked about several different things. I was allowed to see a lot of different things and God explained things to me in a very, very, um, very open way. One of the things that I really liked about the experience was that I was able to ask questions and have them the answer instantly given to me. Um, that is, I think, one of the things that I miss most about the kingdom of heaven is that how quickly the answers come and, and how you have um, a, a, a peace in just knowing what God's plan is and what what's going on. and. And then from that experience, um, I will say that I have a deeper understanding and appreciation of the work of God in the world. Well, we talked for a while, and then I remember that I was taken up to a higher level of heaven. I think it was the ninth level of heaven. And on that level, um, I was allowed to see... Um, a, a, a great multitude of angels and they were all um, bowing down and worshiping and praying to God and there was an order and an organization there were just rows and rows of angels and I was watching the scene and I remember that at some point I saw that there was some gaps, some missing um, angels, if you will.